got a good fake smile, the Queen, doesn't she? A lot of fake smiling she has to do in her life. She's honourable. Because I can't do that. It's tough, isn't it? When someone says, smile, it's hard, smile, it's hard. When well, someone's taking a photo, smile. smile. <laughs> it's always annoying when the digital cameras as well, because they take a photo of you, then they delete it in front of your face. It's really quite insulting. <laughs> so I'm taking it, oh no, that's terrible. Can we try again? No, we can't try again. I've only got one face. I'll be using this face for all the photos. Let's just take that one. The one that's really annoyed me, and this has literally annoyed me since I was like a toddler, is when people take a photo and they go, say cheese, and everyone goes, cheese. <laughs> what, 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 why are we behaving like that? That is not how people say cheese. This is how people say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> What's wrong with all of us? You're not in the supermarket pushing the trolley. Excuse me, mate, do you work here? I'm looking for the cheese. <laughs> I think it's all four for cheese. <laughs> you want salt and vinegar or cheese and onion? Pathetic. Here's some advice. I don't even know if this is true. It's more of a tip. Um, my sister told me there's apparently models who make a living out of looking good in photos. They don't say cheese. They say prune, <laughs> prune, prune. Because it makes them pout. Prune. <laughs> no. Try it. I know you're dying to. <laughs> yes, you can feel it. <laughs> Slightly awkward. I, obviously, I meant the women. It's a pouting thing. <laughs> so all these blokes go, prune. Yeah, but I think I do pout enough in my photos. Prune. Yeah, models do that. They're very arrogant, aren't they, models? I was watching one of those runway things the other day. The, the way they walk. It's the most obnoxious walk I think I've ever seen anyone do. And they sort of thrust. Check me out. Yeah. To be honest, none of us would ever have the arrogance to walk like that in public. That's not actually strictly true. We all walk like that when we get a strike in 10 pin bowling. It's one of the oddest moments in life. <laughs> Doesn't matter who you are, you can be the hardest bloke on earth as you select the ball, walk down the lane in your normal walk, throw it down, do that leg thing for no reason at all. <laughs> if they all fall down, you're suddenly the campest man on earth. Well, who was the king of bowling? Hey? Turns out it's me. Boom! Complete personality shift in one strike. <laughs> I wouldn't have remembered that prune thing if it wasn't for my wife. She actually remembered it. She banked it in her mind to use it. And it was a little bit of a disaster. We went to one of these like, red carpet things and had all these photographers. She's got a new dress on and everything. She decided to bring out the prune, but got it completely wrong. She said, plum. Plum is a different fruit. <laughs> beginning with P. And it ruined her face. She looked like she was smelling something awful. She was standing there going, plum. <laughs> Plum. It's like a whole bank of photographers. I heard, I'm like, what are you doing? I'm doing that muggle thing, plum. It's like, no, it's prune. Now I'm pouting. There's actually a photo online of me going prune. <laughs> I thought it was plum. <laughs> That's not the worst. One, once I went to like this, it was like the BAFTAs or something. It was a big awards thing and I got all dressed up and I wore my glasses because I thought it looked cool and my wife approved it. She's like, yes, they're very cool in your glasses. I'm like, I'll wear these. She got a beautiful new dress. You know, we went down red carpet, flash bulbs everywhere, signing autographs, famous people. And then you sort of pose for your like official photo. Here we are, we've arrived. And I went online the next day to see the photo they used. And I've got to tell you, when I saw it, I nearly, I nearly threw up. I was as shocked as you're about to be when I saw this photo of me. I looked really angry. I was standing there like this, going like that. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my god, someone's obviously photoshopped this, they doctored it, it was all over the internet, I never did that, why would I do that? I'm not insane, who would go to the BAFTAs and just go fuck off to all the press? <laughs> also, I don't do that, that's not something I, I'm not a finger flicker, you know, you can probably sense it's not something that comes particularly natural to me, I don't even know how people do it. Do you start early and then bring it into play, or do you just sort of reveal it? Yes, I don't like you. I don't like you. Because people do it to me, rude people, in the car. I think it reflects badly on my driving. <laughs> Sometimes they drive past me and just leave their finger out the window. <laughs> For as long as you can see me, fuck off. Really? So I phoned up my publicist. I said, look, somebody hates me. They've doctored these photos. It's all over the internet. I was livid. I wanted to take legal action. So we demanded to see all the original photos to prove that this has happened to me. And very unexpectedly, it turned out to be my fault. Didn't see it coming. I was pushing my glasses up. Seriously. <laughs> What kind of an idiot? I have to say, the photos did look quite funny. Just me sort of saying, <laughs> With my wife next to me, plum. 